Thanks. Okay, my recording is back on. Mine is too. Yeah, we're clicking right now. Is the recording on? It's on. Okay. Let the record show that no decision was Don't. made in closed session. And we have a resolution in front of us. The resolution number is 03282302. We've all had an opportunity to review it. Do I have a motion to approve the resolution? Hold that you want some of the people to come in from the courthouse to understand? Sure. Yeah. I'll just make a I'll make a round. I mean, that's okay with you. Yep. Thanks, Todd. We'll wait on the resolution yes. until they get in. Okay. We got everybody? He sent it to me. Uh, before we vote on the resolution, uh, because we have people in here that it affects who'd like to do the summary. Would you like to do the summary of what the resolution says? A summary? Yep. Okay. Um, do you want me to read it? So basically, um, the resolution is adopting and implementing a wage scale. And the wage scale, for it affects any new employees hired on or after March 28th, 2023 and current employees. Um, and it will take effect July 1st of 2023 for existing employees. Standalone longevity schedule for all full-time employees as follows, five cents 
at five years, 10 cents at 10 years, 15 cents at 15 years, and 20 cents at 20 years. Scale one, clerk and support staff in the recorder, treasurer, attorney, and auditor's office will start at $40,000. At six months, $45,000. At one year, $48,598.53. Scale two, custodians, $22.50 an hour starting wage, $24 an hour at six months, and $25.98 at one year. Scale three, clerk's driver's license department, starting 45,000, six months, 50,000, one year, $54,495.28. Which also means that anybody that's currently has one of those titles and isn't at the one year will be moved up to the one year amount effective July 1st, 2023. Is that? Yep. Yeah. And longevity will be back in effect for the sheriff's office. Roger. Okay. Do we know, or the reason I'm here, I have two employees. Do I know where they're going to fall in this? It does not affect them. Does not affect them. Okay. They have different job titles. Okay. That's all I didn't know. Any other questions? So the raises we negotiated, is that go by the wayside? It's, well, this in, is, it's in this amount. It was okay. figured into this amount. Yeah. When you consider, I mean, when you consider clerical or whatever that is, um, do I, I mean, I'm the victim witness coordinator. You're different. You do, this does not apply to you. No other questions. I would entertain a motion to approve the resolution number 328-2302. So moved. Motion by Wachter, second by, I'll second it. Any discussion on the resolution? Seeing none, do a roll call vote, please. Clap. Yes. Matt? Yes. Wachter? Yes. Stecker? Yes. Jerk? Yes. Motion carried unanimous. The resolution is in effect and it will take effect on July 1. <laughs> And Todd, we're up to you on hopefully Yeah, the uh, the uh, resolution I sent to you this morning. I apologize for the lateness behind that, but it's it's in essence a resolution giving me the authority, much the same as what was given to me uh, for the first opioid uh, settlement agreement, uh, to sign the paperwork necessary to, uh, to agree to receive funds for the county for the second half of the lawsuits uh, involving um, uh, Teva, Pharmaceuticals, Allergan, uh, Walgreens, Walmart, CVS, and, um, Health Corporation and Pharmacy. Uh, so it basically provides that um, we will be receiving funds out of that settlement, uh, the litigation, class action lawsuits against those companies, as part of a larger or broader settlement agreement um, uh, with all the different states. So 50% will go to the state of Iowa, 50% will be divided up among the counties. The importance behind it is that in order for the state to maximize the amount that uh, is going to be received from these companies for this lawsuit, uh, all of the counties have to be on board. So that's basically pretty much it. This one is a smaller amount. We've already got uh, uh, some checks in from the first one. Um, the due date for this is April 18th. So. Uh, the resolution just basically explains what it is. I also provide you a packet of information for your reading, um, but uh, uh, it just provides me the authority to 
uh, sign those documents and uh, indicate Kasut County's willingness to accept those proceeds. Makes sense. The resolution number would be over. I make motion to accept. This is a resolution, Mr. Secker. The number is 03282303. And Mr. Secker makes the motion. Do I have a second? I'll second. Second by Wachter. Any discussion on the resolution? Again, the resolution number is 03282303. Do a roll call vote, please. Platt? Yes. Matt? Yes. Wachter? Yes. Stecker? Yes. Jerks? Yes. Motion carried unanimous. Todd, can I get you a copy of this resolution? Yeah, that's fine. Um, did you print it off? Yes, I, I did. Okay. Um, the, uh, the one thing, Tammy, we need to make sure for this one, too, it's going to have to be separate from the first one, so okay. it's going to have to be, can't be commingled with the the funds for Kasut County okay, it so has to be 75 percent of it has to be um, spent for uh, specific mitigation purposes so, so same we'll, same rules as last time isn't it? same rules just different count so we'll set up a second fund how is Nick how are we going to know the difference between the two like because a lot of it's direct deposit so how is Nick going to know well and what I will do when we start receiving this is identify this as uh, proceeds from NOA 2 NOAT 2 um, National Opioid. Okay. Uh, uh, I forgot what the label is. <laughs> I know. Oh, well. It's fine. Yeah, I will uh, uh, abate my trust. Okay. Okay. And then, um, will you submit this resolution or do you want me to? I know, like, Christy Hershberger from ISAC has been emailing yeah. me. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, do you want me to? No, I will. I will go on and sign okay. it. That's the reason that they've been they're waiting for the yeah. online signatures. Okay. So, with that, I'll be able to sign. So, I'll get online this yet this, yeah, this morning and start signing those. Okay. That should eliminate the need for them to continue. To <laughs> okay. Let's hope. Yeah. So since you've proved it, I'll go ahead and do that. Just give me a copy of it. Yes, I will. Yes. Okay. And with that, gentlemen, thank you. Thank well, thank you, you for so coming, much. Todd. Appreciate it. Sure. We're going to take a 15 minute oh, break. Um, no, okay, go ahead and take your break. I do need to talk to you, Tammy. Yes. Um, Stop this.